guys, how's it going? So I'm here to do a tutorial on this awesome sunset inspired, no, not really, look from Wet n Wild. So I first started off with my milk jumbo, or my <laughs> NYX jumbo pencil and milk, I can speak. And then I just pat it in with my fingers and just kind of work it all over the lid. This is gonna act as a primer and what this pencil does, it is it allows these colors to really pop. So you just kind of work it wherever you want and then make sure that you just pat it in there so it ends up looking really white. I actually really enjoy doing this. I don't know, because I'm a weirdo. So then we're gonna take this like goldish color, which actually turns out to be a little bit more yellow. And we are going to work that in with just a flat shader brush all over the lid. I find that using a um, mixing medium of some sort, such as Max Fix Plus, makes the color actually more pigmented. So that's what I chose to use. Now I do know that some people use, um, they dip a brush in contact solution. Totes up to you. Next we're gonna take this like burnt orange kind of color, it's super pretty. <clears throat> and we're gonna just work that in with a fluffy shader brush into the crease of our eyes. So this color is kind of gonna go from the inner portion of the crease to the outer portion and then down just a little bit into the outer corner. And then just mixing between windshield wipers and circular motions and just working that color. See, you can see that I'm doing that. So I just use, I don't know why one eye is more hooded than the other, but it is. So that's why you'll always see me sometimes lifting up my eye because one is just a little more hooded than the other. So using this definer color of this palette, which is called Walking the Red Carpet, I just used a pencil brush, and in no particular organized fashion, I just put that color into the outer corner of my eye and then just up and into the crease a little bit. This brush is simply here to place the color. It's not, I'm not really using it to blend it, I'm just merely putting it where I want it. Because as you can see, I'm gonna go in with my shader brush, the exact same one I was using, and I'm just gonna blend that into the two colors that I already have on my eye. Awkward silence as you watch me blend, blend, blend. Blending's pretty key here. Now I popped over to the other definer color on the other side of this palette because I wanted just more darker definition. You like that grammar? More darker? Darker definition. So I really just worked this in a more concentrated fashion into that outer corner. This kind of allows the eye to just open up into these colors like kind of like a sunburst or sun rising. So then I just took the shader brush and I just blended it again. I used the same shader brush in the entire look for all the colors, just working my way from the lightest to darkest. This one's using the lightest color in the palette and I actually have the footage right here and I'm using this under my brow bone. See, boom, brow bone color. Just using a smaller flat eyeshadow brush. Then using that same brush, because I'm done pretty much using that light color, I combined the two burnt orange colors and I put them under my eye just to add a little bit of color under there. I'm also going to line my eyes with Max Cole Pencil in Smolder because it's my favorite. And I just wiped away any of the excess that I had with just this little... Um, makeup wipe and then took some extra concealer and just buff that back in again in case any of the concealer got off and it just cleans up the look and gives it a more polished appearance so here I am with that pencil that I said by Mac in the color smolder it's my favorite I find it stays on the bottom of your la the lower lash line haha <laughs> I find it stays there the longest longer than any other color that is and if you set it with a black shadow it'll stay even longer <clears throat> so using my ring finger I took that same brow bone color and I just put that on the inner 
inner corner of my eye. This really made the look I feel. It really just opened it up as far as shadows go and it made it really shimmery and fun and just just very much like a, a sunset. So here I'm just lining my eyes and super fast forward for you guys with my favorite eyeliner by Kat Von D. This is the tattoo liner. No big deal. I just use the same thing pretty much all the time. So I just did this from the outer corner to the inner corner and then I just curled my regular lashes and I applied lashes. These are the Oh My Lash lashes in Desiree and I didn't show you guys me putting them on but you just go over the lashes with your eyeliner again just to give it a more cohesive look. And then this is just how it turned out. I really liked it. At first I wasn't sure but I really love how these colors look. They're gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is the Wet n Wild Walking the Red Carpet Palette. Oh, hello. And I really enjoy doing this look and I hope you guys like it too. This palette is limited edition. If you wanna see my last video, don't forget to click here. And thank you guys for watching, bye.